Hi YouTube, hi VC, it's Rob here with another video and this video is uh, Car Boot Adventure Find video number 5. Um, so I've just actually come back from the car boot sale um, and I've got a load of stuff to show and it was like going back to the 90s. So if you follow me on Instagram I did uh, post uh, a couple of clips from a seller uh, in Bolton who goes to auctions uh, take stuff out of the what he wants and then uh, sells everything off at car boot sales. So uh, I turned up Bolton about seven o'clock, uh, walking around and stumbled upon a guy called Carl, um, and he had a table full of records and he had uh, boxes of records underneath. Now some of these are in you know excellent condition. Some of them VG. Some of them just good. Uh, a lot of the jackets are in great condition. Uh, nothing here cost me more than two pounds. There's quite a lot of prog uh, in amongst this batch. Uh, and in the future, maybe uh, in another video of uh, worst records in my collection. I don't know, but when I'm at a boot sale and things are so cheap, I just tend to pick them up. But uh, there's some really good stuff here. So uh, there's about 30 records. So I'm not going to be going into detail. I'm just going to show you what I picked up. So probably my favourite pickup was this one magazine uh, the correct use of soap I'm not too sure when this came out I think maybe about 1980 something like that I'm not oh yeah 1980 and this is in excellent condition so this is a record I've been after for a while um, I do want all the magazine albums um, but in record shops you see this in this sort of condition at least be a tenner so uh, two pounds for that really pleased um, so I do have uh, a couple of albums by this guy, um, Steve Hillage and Green, and this is sort of, I think this is um, thought of as his, his best album, uh, and again this one's in very good condition, um, so I'm not sure what year it's from, but um, yeah, Green by Steve Hillage. Uh, I picked up um, like a best of on Buddha, Curtis Mayfield, Move On Up. Super flies on here and uh, people get ready. Move on up, of course, Miss Black America. So, uh, for two quid. Again, excellent condition. And the jacket's in really good condition as well. So, um, yeah, Curtis Mayfield. Uh, I picked this up. I think this was only a pound. Uh, Dr. Feelgood. Um, down by the jetty. Uh, the sleeve is in uh, pretty desperate condition, uh, just needs a bit of gluing really. Uh, but the album's in decent, pretty good condition. Needs a clean, but uh, pretty good condition. So I do like Dr. Feelgood, um, so to see that, I had to grab that. Uh, my Southern Rock uh, love has been helped again, the Allman Brothers. I think this is called... Eat a Peach, it's a double album, so my eyes lit up when I saw this, so uh, again this one's in excellent condition, um, this is a nice one, the Shy Lights, um, and this is on a, on a gatefold as well, uh, so I've literally just come home um, set the video up on Brunswick really good condition I'm not sure of the year on this one but it's probably early 70s so yeah, nice Shy Lights album uh, I don't have anything by the move so a lot of love for the move I mean I'm just looking on the back here and Jeff Lynn's involved uh, Roy Wood, Be Bevan but I've I've seen videos on YouTube about the move and I thought yeah I think this was 150 so um, looking on by the move I was pleased to find this one traffic so I'm after the, the sleeve's got a bit of graffiti on it I'm not sure what that actually says in memory of Len Tibbetts, brother of Harry Tibbetts, he died. So, 
but this is in really good uh, condition on Ireland. In the in the nineties, when you went to car boots, you used to regularly see people with big collections just selling them off, uh, and they'd be personal collections, so stuff would be really mint. Because this is from an auction, um, a little bit of hit and miss with some great albums, but they're in shocking condition. Uh, I don't have any albums by Bad Company, so uh, this one's in very good condition. Um, Burning Sky, I think it's called. So, Rob the Rocker continues. So, this one's in nice condition as well. And uh, did I show you the gatefold? Nice, nice image on the gatefold. Looks like it's still Paul Rogers. Um, I bought this album because uh, if there's ever a thread on the VC about naked people and animals, I'm okay, I'm good to go. So, uh, Revelation Revolution 69, The Loving Spoonful, featuring Joe Butler. Was uh, John Sebastian the singer with Loving Spoonful? I think he was, so whether he's not in in this version, I'm not too sure. Um, looking for a year, I think it's 69. Uh, and again, very good condition. I think it was, I think this was two quid. So, um, I paid up, but because it's a 60s album, and the jacket alone uh, is worth the uh, price of admission. This is an album that I see knocking around. It's to pick it up for about 150, must please, Steve Earl. Steve Earl and Dukes uh, on MCA. So I'll be interested to, to give that a listen. Um, I found a Credence album uh, by Bayou Country. So as you can see, the jacket has seen better days. Um, but the actual vinyl is in pretty good condition. Now, uh, Shannon D on the VC, she did a whole series about um, Joni Mitchell. And I must admit, I bailed out after a couple of videos because Joni Mitchell isn't really my favourite. But she, I think this is a second album by Joni Mitchell called Clouds. And I actually sort of streamed it quite a bit. And I think I told Shannon that quite like this album and I've actually been looking for it and I've not been able to find it so I think it was two quid so um, yeah looking forward to giving that a spin so yeah my first Johnny Mitchell album uh, I think I paid a couple of quid for this again this is uh, a nice 60s album with a nice jacket uh, Pete Paul and Mary see what tomorrow brings so some Warners so you don't you don't see records like this hanging around at car boot sales usually. Um, so I grabbed it and I saw this. I thought I'd uh, give this one a go. Uh, the Bee Gees idea. So I do quite like the Bee Gees. Um, I was talking to a guy at work who's like 26 and he's kind of discovered the Bee Gees and he was saying how good they are. And, uh, nice image on the back as well. Um, Bob Dylan Under the Red Sky so this was a couple of quid as well so there's a bit of a mark on this but I think it'll come out got the lyrics with it um, it's on CBS but for a couple of quid Bob Dylan album I was going to grab that I think this was a pound I uh, don't have the Emotional Rescue um, yeah this is Emotional Rescue isn't it so, I think that was a quid. Uh, here's another artist. I mean, this hall is full of artists that I don't have anything by, so it's kind of exciting to sort of... I mean, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get through this lot. But I don't have anything. This, this guy's from Macclesfield. John Mayle. So, the blues alone. Now, the jacket is shot. But I think it was 150 this. Um, so... Yeah, it's in it's in pretty good condition. So, um, John Mayle, uh, like I say, not somebody who I've got anything by. But I've said before, that's why I go to car boot sales. I mean, ideally, I'd like to pick up a load of factory and Manchester stuff, but people just 
don't get rid of that stuff. So you've got to sort of have a bit of an open mind. Um, and like I say, some of these records I'm, I just might not like, but I've not paid much for them. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what I think of them. So we had John Mayle. There's a couple of real proggy, proggy things that make you laugh in a bit. So uh, I picked this up, Hamburger Concert. So is this focusing concert? So focus, I don't have any focus. Well, they are Dutch, so um, I'm always uh, open to anything from the Netherlands on Polydor. Uh, looks like it's 1974. Um, and I'm taking it, it's a concert. Um, it's in very good condition. Uh, and it's got a nice jacket with it. So, uh, here, now this is, uh, now we're going into sort of real prog territory. Paid two quid for this, it's in really good condition, and it's a band that I've heard a few people like uh, Baggy Hi Fi John and uh, Rob Ison in particular talk about, uh, and it's a uh, pentangle. So, this one could be a huge mistake, uh, but it's in really good condition, so, uh, and I paid two quid for it, but I don't think you usually get pentangle albums for two quid. So, I thought, yeah, go on. Uh, I'll give them a chance. Um, I did look on the... Um, I think I looked who the members of the band were. Um, I'm sure I recognised... Oh, is it Bert Janch? I keep hearing about that guy. Um, but yeah, Bert Janch. Um, so yeah, a few people might smile when they say I've picked that up. But yeah, for a couple of quid. Now, this is going to be uh, raising a few smiles as well. Led Zeppelin 2. So I think he actually charged me three quid for this, which for a Led Zeppelin album, I suppose, it's reasonable. It's in good condition as well. And the Plum Atlantic. Uh, so Rob goes Zeppelin. Why not? Now, this probably is the biggest shock. And I've got to say, I was, before I, I left to go to the car boot, I was on YouTube. And I was talking to uh, Patrick, the vinyl archivist, and he was doing a stream. And uh, at the end of the stream, he said, go and pick up some um, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. And I did. So I paid, I think I paid 150 for this. Uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. I don't even know what it's called. I'm not even sure. I don't think I'm going to like it, but I'm, I'll give it a chance. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Um, is it... Pictures at an exhibition by Emerson Lake and Palmer. So yeah, I'll give that a go. Uh, I think I'm on safer ground with the Doobie Brothers. So this is an album I don't have by them. Uh, I do like early Doobies. This is a sort of album you usually see for about three quid in a record shop. So um, I think it was one fifty. So yeah, uh, Doobie Brothers, uh, the Captain and Me. This is a total blind buy. He just said, oh, try this. I ain't got a clue. It looks like it's prog to me. Golden Avatar. So, uh, a change of heart. I don't know anything about it. I'm sure there's some prog guys on the BC might think this is some sort of grail. Uh, I don't have a clue. So, but that's probably one of the first ones I'll play, just to see if I get annoyed. Um, Santana. So, I'm after uh, Santana albums. So I remember this one, Moonflower. I think it's got She's Not There on it. I'm not too sure. I'm looking on the back. Maybe it hasn't. It's got Black Magic Woman on it. Oh yeah, it's got She's Not There on it. So I think it's from 76 or 77. This is mint. This is really good condition. So I think it was two quid. Uh, soundtrack, uh, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Morricone. So I've got a few Morricone sort of uh, comps, but I don't have this one on its own. So I think it was a quid. So Morricone. Uh, look what I got. Now, I haven't got the record. There's no record in it. He just had the jacket, and I do love that jacket. So if I do a video of my favourite jackets, I've now got one of my favourites, because I do love News of the World by Queen. But uh, thankfully, uh, there's no record in it. But if the record had been it, I probably picked it up because it's got um, a couple of decent decent tracks on it. So yeah, news of the world, just the jacket. These ones were all 50p, so I just took a took a punt. 
Chicago. Uh, Hot Street, I think this is probably Bad Chicago uh, from 78. So this could be uh, a bit of a mistake, but for 50p, I just thought I'd give it a go. Another one for 50p, which, because uh, in the boot of his car, he just said, oh, they're all 50p, all the free. Um, so, um, is it? So this is Man From Man. Is it Man From Man's Earth Band? And uh, this was, like I say, this was 50p. It's called um, The Roaring Silence. So a few people I've seen talking about uh, Man From Man saying, you know, give him a try. So I am doing uh, don't have any albums by this guy, Steve Harley. So, again, 50 pence. It's got Made Me Smile on it. Mr. Raffles, it looks like some... I think this is maybe a compilation. Because uh, it's got a few songs that I recognise on it. So, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel uh, on EMI. Coming to the end now, so we're doing okay. 12 Inch of Guilty by Mike Oldfield. And it's on blue vinyl. Uh, another copy of uh, Sanya Amandata. So that's four copies I've got now. I'm trying to get as many as I can. I know people are trying to get as many copies of Revolver, Mazzy, and uh, Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. But uh, I'm trying to get as many copies of uh, Sanya Amandata. So that's four. And I picked up for 50p Regatta Blanc. It's a little bit of an upgrade because my copy is uh, pretty shot. So yeah, I picked up a copy of that. So all those records, I think somewhere around about 60 quid for all those. And he did say that he would be um, going back next week. So uh, those are all records that I picked up today, 31st of May 2021. Uh, in the comments, I'd love to hear from you, see what you think of what I picked up. Picked up some good stuff, I think. Quite interesting. So uh, thanks for watching my video and bye for now.